What up, fools? It's your boy, Prophet74. Today, I have Daydream, Google's Daydream. So we're gonna all unbox it here for you guys and see what the quality of the this VR system is compared to the Samsung VR. So, let's open it up. First of all, there's a little cute little tiny little control here. Uh, that, it's a little controller here for Google. And of course, you got the piece of resistance. Google's VR system. Now, this is very light. It's very, very light compared to the Samsung, compared to ACP, HCCP, and compared to the, the, the 54321. This is very light compared to all the other VRs. This is probably the lightest one I, I've ever held in my hands. And um, it's very simple. There's just made of like plasticky, woody kind of system. So feels like good cloth material here. Uh, I, I, I like the system. Uh, I'm not gonna put it on because I don't wanna open it yet. But it feels very comfortable. Very, very comfortable, well made. Uh, but the, the only bad thing I see is a lot of lights gonna come in here. The phone's not gonna block it out. Um, it's gonna be a, a little problem for those people that are like have different kinds of phones. Now, just to let you know, this is not compatible with Samsung Galaxy 8 at all. You cannot put any of the Galaxy. This is pretty much made for Google's products. So they want you to buy this Pixel. They want you to buy the Google application uh, phones that they have. So I, I don't recommend you, if you have another Joy phone, and it's not gonna work. Please look at the description. It tells you in the box specifically, it's made for only a couple of phones that they have out in the market right now. So don't rush out and buy it. I know it's a little cheap and inexpensive compared to the rest of the VRs, but it's not made for your phone. You need to have some Toro type. So if you can see this now, it's pretty neat. They have the base of the eyes in here. And of course they have the little strap right here where the control goes in there. So let's take a look at it. It looks real well made. Now compared to the gear, this is actually pretty simple. It's I don't know if it's, it doesn't have that grip. It doesn't look like the VRHCC um, um, controller. So it's just a basic big old tablet pretty much. There's also a strap in here. So you can put your strap right next to the actual charger station. Uh, it's a new C charging USB. Uh, there is a battery case. It's, it's, it's built in there. So there is no batteries included of course. It's all built in here. Uh, there's only one, two, and then the, the actual sensor here. So there's two buttons and the sensor. There's no side buttons. Oh, actually there is side buttons and they look like volumes, but it could be for other things. I haven't played any of the games yet. So there's one, two, three, four, and then the sensor. We'll make it five. And you can click the sensor. There's a clicker on the sensor. So that's a, that's a plus. Now this is made for, to fit into this component here. It, slip, it simply slides in here. You pick it up, you slide it in there, and it has a little little dent, so the control actually can fit in there. So, and then it's ready to go, on the go. So, compared to the VR, we're gonna take a look at both systems. But this one right now is just it's made very cheap and simple but it feels very comfortable. I mean, if you wear this, it's very, very comfortable. The cloth itself, the material, feels like um, similar to a silk mixed with Levi kind of theme material. So pretty nice and neat. I like the color. Uh, don't get me wrong, I like the color. I like this color gray, so it's not that bad. So let's take a look at other stuff that we have in here. Now, it does come with a couple of accessories here, of course, the strap sensors uh, and some instructions. That's pretty much it. I'm not gonna even waste my time opening. Let's compare this system with the VR from Samsung. So stick around. Welcome back to the show. So here I have the two hardware side by side, the two VR systems side by side. Uh, we're gonna go over a couple of things on the controllers. First, let's start with the small little sensors, the little controllers first. They both seem to have that sensor and they both can click in the middle. Uh, this one has about the volume up, volume down, as return button, a home button, 
and there's another button right in the front this is pretty much a trigger button this actually feels very comfortable compared to this this is pretty much like a a presentation clicker you know next slide next slide um, this one has about similar buttons except for that front button that this one has the extra button so um, this is battery based triple a battery this is, doesn't have any batteries it's a charging battery built-in batteries actually so there's a couple of lights on both of them they've had little less sensor lights they're bluetooth both of them they have the same components i'm pretty sure if you open them up side by side it'll be the same components as, as this as the system but one is made for a lot of joy systems this is pretty much compatible with a lot of joy systems that are made from samson even i think the samson note still fits in here even though they discontinue it still fits in here now on this one i like about it it was made to accommodate more of the actual hardware that that's out there compared to this one uh you pretty much just need a joy and uh, andrew uh, base system and um you're able to go but on this one what i like about it it has its cover little cover here and of course it's made they tell you right here there's a couple sensors here it says push to unlock the phone and to keep it locked now they have two little set meters a and b so if you have two types of phone you it could compa it could be very compatible to this system now they do have a different usb because this is no more the newer the c class than the than the older usb so this is they do have a little uh, actual compatibility um, um, module that goes in here so you could go to the use the older phones too so this is pretty much uh, compatible with any of the phones from the past to now uh, but my recommendation try to get anything that's a little faster like a Samsung Galaxy 7 or higher than that because it's pretty much made for this system now they still kept the side buttons here which is another extra plus thing so it has a little sensor to a mouse sensor kind of pretty much a mouse sensor and it has the return and the home button so you can find those two buttons in this system too now they do have the focusing unit here so it's just the focus just to move the lenses backward and forward in case, in case you wear glasses you want to focus in it this is pretty much the same thing that you just move it up and down so overall i i i'd like this unit better than that unit because the quality of it it's 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 like a real system it's, it seems like hey, it's it's no longer um it's no longer a toy it, it feels like it's hey i'm hanging on with the big boy not only that, it has all three straps here, which is pretty much goes over your head, goes over your head, and it's very compatible, very simple with your glasses. I'm wearing glasses, as you see, and um, this other unit does the same thing, it, but doesn't have the third strap. It's pretty because it's very light, and um, all the weight's gonna be, of course, in the in the front, in which a lot of hardware makers are trying to find a compatibility where the weight can be distributed more in the back and HTCP HTC is coming out with a unit just based for the new lenses and um, they're gonna have a, a system where it actually locks in similar to the uh, the Sony PlayStation VR it's the same concept it's just pretty much has a little dial in to strap it in now this one it's just your phone it's not that much of a heavy weight but it's 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 more hard it's more um well made than this unit here so this is the controller this is an awesome controller compared to this uh, i'm gonna see a lot of great games with this controller with this one they have to have some good companies so now that google acquired the company that made job simulator it made uh marty marty um uh, the new games the new vr games they acquired the company so they might have a head start on developing these kind of games compared to what samsung's gonna have right now so they might come on in the future and in overall this unit might overcome this unit just because of the software so having the compatibility only to what they sell it's going to pretty much shut this unit out of what they sell so if you have samsung you're going to stick with samsung if you have a google phone you're going to have to go with google phone so if you it's going to be hard to determine what phone you're going to want to play a vr system but users consumers always go what they need or what they're used to most of the time so um the market it's a lot of android right now it's an iphone too so um too bad that iphone doesn't fit in any of those two systems so and they don't have any any uh, vr system they actually dropped the department on vr system so 
but they might be introducing now that the VR market is pretty high and, and um, it's well established right now. So uh, we'll just kind of wait and see. Now let's take a look at more of this unit right here. This is a step up from what they had before. They had a cardboard box, pretty much. You two lenses, you put them together, send them out in an envelope, and you get them in about a couple of days. Cost was under ten dollars, twelve dollars. I mean, not very difficult to build. Now this is a uh, this is a ten to twenty steps higher than what they used to have before. From a simple cardboard to something well made. This is this is really good made. I, I like the quality of it. It's they didn't spend too much money on this. You can tell uh, the foam itself. It, it's it's very very comfortable when you put this on. There's only two. There's only a strap. So there's no third strap in here. So if you have a heavier phone, it's not made for those phones. Pretty much is it's made for the Pixel phone and any other Google phones that they make. And their phones are pretty small and simple. Um, so this is pretty neat. I like the cloth and material but it's just not going to have the extra sensors the extra buttons now they don't have the part where you could actually control the lens to go forward and backwards so if it's blurry you're pretty much effed up so if if you have a problem there's in the gear there is that sensor here there is that little dial that you can move forward and backwards pretty much when you move in uh, the dial back it goes in there, you move it out, it goes out. So it kind of focuses in on the on, on your lenses, especially if you're wearing glasses and, and you have a, a different prescription on either glass and you, you want to be able to mess around with that and have a better view. It, it's something that's necessary, I think. Now, this part right here, there isn't any of that stuff, but it's simple. What they made it, they're trying to follow the steps of the iPhone, make it simpler. Uh, compatible and ready to go for consumer this is pretty much a, a, a well-made system but I just gotta see what kind of hardware they're gonna come out with I mean it, it all depends on the software and now that they're acquiring a lot of VR companies they might come out with a couple of games that are gonna be very compatible so it sh turns out that their markets going that direction for Google's on this kind of system so uh, we just gotta wait and see right now so far they're kind of preparing themselves first step for the creating the VR system, getting something simple and, and ready to go. Uh, I see myself, I could be traveling with this, watching movies, very comfortable, sleeping, taking some naps. I mean, it feels like one of those nap time, uh, uh, cushion things that you put on. Now this one right here, it's it's an eyesore. You can't be on the train or on an airplane. People are gonna notice that you're pretty much watching something. But the good thing about it is you can take out the plate and take out your phone and you can see everybody and then go back or whatever you want to do. But if you want to, if you're a gamer, this is pretty much what you're going to get. You know, you, you want to go for a game. Now I forgot to mention there is a sensor here. So the sensor is made for when you take your face off, the phone actually saves battery and turns off or it comes on standby. When you put it back on, the sensor actually indicates that your head's there and there's something in there. And it just, it's just a, a nice little IRA sensor that they have in there so it's pretty neat there are some filters here they are for the air because you sweat a lot in these things especially when you're having a lot of movement so there are some vents in here in the top and in the bottom too and um, some parts can be replaced and modified I've seen some of the YouTubes that are, people are modifying these things actually taking this apart and adding it to another unit it's pretty neat but uh, and they're only about a hundred dollars but Samsung had a great deal where you buy a Galaxy Samsung 8 and you get this for free, which is an awesome deal because it's, you're saving yourself a hundred bucks. Now, they're going to have the same kind of promotion, I'm pretty sure Google is, but it hasn't been announced yet. Maybe by now it should be probably. And they're going to push out for something like that, similar so they could sell more of these units. But as more of the phone becomes more popular, they're going to end up getting more of these things. If, if they start pushing out the same direction as getting the same quality of games that the HTC Vive has, then we're going to end up seeing some good stuff come in on this, um, on this system. So we just got to wait and see. Overall, the size, this is very massive compared to this. I mean, if you put them side by side, face to face, you still have a couple inches off you know so it's not it's it's not compatibility this is pretty bulky this takes more half of your head than this takes maybe one quarter of your head so uh pretty much this is it the google um, daydream and the samsung br side by side um overall 
like this unit better than this one right now so far because of the game quality and he has all the functions you know there's a lot of functions you need for VR if you're a developer you pretty much need the shooting button you need the climbing button your moving button this is pretty much ready to go if HTC, HTC Vive creates something similar to this it's over for the rest of the people because this unit right here it's awesome it's it fits on your hand it's pretty much moving and imagine you have two of these units playing you don't even get to see any of that stuff the sensors could be built in here and back into your helmet i mean it could be one of those things that just like the um, uh, um playstation vr the same thing i mean it everything's built pretty much on the camera and the sensors on the side so it's something we gotta wait and see so more products come out like this it's better for the industry because there's competitivity there's competition there's um the quality of games are going to be a step higher than what you see right now currently right now you see a lot of blockage games are not that very high-end quality games right now but they're getting there and the oculus has bought a lot of these companies and is pushing out for quality company quality of, of games so you see once in a while one of these awesome games that are just made for oculus just make going to be made for google and then it's going to be samsung i'm pretty sure samsung's going to start um, gearing up themselves but right now a lot of developers are building for samsung because it's easier to build on a joy base than it is on a google um iphone it's very expensive you need to hey, be part of the hardware the community you have to pay a license for 99 dollars a year it's just very expensive when you pay a license of six or seven dollars to a joy compared to the google, google has a, another competition too they also have a good system too so if you're a developer and you're building something on on, on uh, for a mobile station i will build for this system i will definitely build for this so that's my news for these two systems if you have any questions if you like what you see give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching late to the show we'll bring some more gear some more hardware some more hacks and some more gains for you